Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyOnMarketing.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create segments in your active campaign account. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first, you need to come into your contacts and then into your list area. And then we can go ahead and create a segment. So to do it, you just come over to the right hand side, click the little drop down menu, and you'll see the option for segments. Now it doesn't matter if you have like 100 lists or anything like that. If you just click on segments, you'll be able to create segments of all your contacts, no matter what list you select right here. So we'll just go to segments. And you can see right here that I have the option to add a new segment. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then I can go ahead and give the segment a name. So I'm gonna make a segment of my buyers. So I'll do buyers and then I'll do create segment. Alrighty. Alrighty, so here we are. Now I could go ahead and change the name if I want to. Like if I realize I spelled buyers incorrectly, I could go ahead and correct it right here. Here I could go ahead and select what list I want this segment to be a part of. So right now it just is the crazy on marketing list, but I could also add the master contact list as well. So that way this segment applies to all of my subscribers, no matter what list they might be on. And then we can go ahead and start setting our conditions. So we'll hit this drop down menu and you'll see that there are a bunch of options in here and I'm not gonna go through every single one of them because we'd be here for a while. But if you start clicking around, I'm sure you could figure out what you need. But let's go ahead and look at a few. So we have contact details like email address, first name, last name, full name, phone number. And these probably aren't the most helpful segmenting conditions unless you want like a list of people that have the first name of Nathan or something like that. But anyway, we'll continue on. So date created, contact last updated, date IP address tag so tag is a very popular one and what I'm going to be using for my buyers list we have contact list status so is subscribed to a list or not subscribed or is unsubscribed or has never been added to a list or subscribed with subscription form any list so a bunch of different options there we have custom contact fields as well. So if you've set up any custom fields like birthday, cake, flavor, favorite color, you could go ahead and select those as conditions. There's actions as well, which are used quite regularly, like submitted a form or has opened an email or has not opened an email or has been sent to email, not been sent, sent, not open, has clicked a link. So that could be a very useful segment of people to have, has shared socially, has forwarded, has replied, has achieved goals, has skipped goals, has entered automations, has ended automations, not currently an automation bunch of different options geography so you could go ahead and do it by country state city zip area code site and event data so has visited not visited visiting device total page visits so maybe you want to create a segment of people that have visited your website like 10 or more times so you could go ahead and do something like that we have account details so account name account url address information a lot of stuff Custom account fields, I got nothing going on there, but moving on down here, we have deal detail. So it has deal with status, deal with value, deal with title, deal and stage, and then custom deal fields, which I haven't created any. And so as you can see, there's a ton of options here, but let's go ahead and I'm just gonna do tag. So tag, and then we have another drop down. So we have exists, does not exist, has all of, has at least one of, has none of. So several different options. This first segment is going to be pretty basic so I'm just going to do exists and then tag buyer exists. So these are some pretty basic conditions that I've set here for this segment but it's a very helpful segment to have you know a segment of your buyers. And so I'm going to go ahead and finish out this example and then I'm going to go ahead and click on save. So we'll click save right there and that could also go ahead and view the contacts that match this particular segment. So I'll click view contacts and I can see how many buyers I have. I only have one, which is Billy Bob right here. So let's come back to the segments. So we'll go to lists again and open up the segments area. And you can see my buyer segment right there. And if I went to the master contact list and hit the drop down in segments, you can see that the buyers segment is applied to this list as well, because when I set it up, I selected both lists. Now let's go ahead and create another segment. And this one I'll say US buyers. So a little bit more advanced than just regular all my buyers. We'll do US buyers. So we'll create a segment and I'm gonna select both lists again. And this time I'm gonna have a tag, another tag exists of buyer. So I have my buyers. And then I'm gonna add another condition right here. And you can see that active campaign gives me the option to have an and statement or an or statement. So of course with an and statement, that means that they have to have the tag buyer and they must also match this other condition that I set right here. So in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and do a geographic location and I'm gonna do a country is, or I could do is not or contains, is not contained, blank is not blank and so on. And I'm gonna go ahead and do United States right there. So country region is United States. Now, if I switch this to an or statement, 
then that would mean that the individual could have the tag buyer or they could live in the United States and not have the buyer tag. Or they could have the buyer tag but live in another country other than the United States and they'd still pop up on this segment. So be careful with switching between and and or statements. Make sure that you're selecting the right word right there. Otherwise, you can have a completely different segment than you think you're going to have. Now, as you notice, there's you can add multiple conditions here. So we could keep adding conditions if you really want to narrow down into a particular segment of people. But for my particular example, I am good with these two conditions right there. So I'll go ahead and click on save. And let's come back out to list real quick. And we'll create another segment just using some more options that are available to us. So we'll come back into segments and a new segment. So I'm going to call this one US buyers or really active. So let's go ahead and create a segment. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this to both of my lists here. So same concept. I'm going to do a tag is exist and buyer. And then also the geographic location of the United States is United States. And then I can add another segment group as well. So in this case, I'm doing US buyers, which these two conditions meet that criteria. But then I'm going to do an or really active. So we can add another segment group and we can use that group to identify what we consider really active. So I'll do add a new segment group. So let's look at some of these actions over here. So let's see what we have. So maybe has open. Let's look at this. Has open any email in the last 30 days. So I don't know that I would consider that really active. So let's look for another condition. Let's come down here and see. So has clicked on a link. So that might be useful. Any email, any link in the last 30 days. So useful information and could be a good segment of people that have clicked on a link recently. So that way you know that they have valid email addresses and they're clicking on links that you're sending out. So Definitely a valid segment, but not what we're really going for in this particular segment that we're creating. So let's come back out of actions and let's do site and event data. So let's do something like total page visits or total site visits. Both of those sound pretty good. Let's do total site visits is or is not or is greater than greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to. I think this sounds really good greater than or equal to and we'll say 10. So if the individual has visited my site 10 times, then I'd say they're a pretty active individual. And I might add another piece of criteria as well. So we'll go ahead and do that action. And we'll do that has clicked on, has clicked on a link on any email in the last 30 days. So they visited my site 10 or more times and they've clicked on a link in any email in the last 30 days. So they're active subscriber and they're engaging with my content. And yeah, this might actually not be a very good segment to create. So don't go out there and copy what I'm creating right here. I'm doing it more for illustration purposes. So that way I can demonstrate the different conditions and how they work together. So we have the first condition. So they're a US buyer. But then I have this and or statement and I don't want to have an and statement right here. I don't want them to be a US buyer and really active. I want them to be a US buyer or really active. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over to or. So now they can match either condition, a US buyer or they could be really active. And as you can see right here, I could continue adding new segment groups if I needed to. But at this point, I think you get the general idea. So I can come up here and click on save and and there we go, I'm happy with that. Let's come back over to lists and let's go ahead and open up our segments one more time. So that's how you can go ahead and create the different segments. Now, if you wanna edit or delete a segment, you could just click into the segment and you could go ahead and edit it you know, very easily. So maybe I wanna change it to non-US buyer. So I could do US buyer. So then country region is not United States. And then I could go ahead and click on save. And additionally, if I wanted to delete it, I could just come over here and click on delete and are you sure you want to delete this segment? And we'll just say okay. And so now I've removed that one segment from my list of segments available to me. And I think that's pretty much it for creating segments. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyoutmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.